Okay, hi, it's Whitney again from Creatively Fit. We're up in my studio and we're painting over this canvas that I demonstrated earlier. If you're doing the Creatively Fit Marathon, this is what you do when you go from mile to mile. You paint a painting, you let it dry, the next email you get with the inspiration and step-by-step -step instructions for the painting, we're going to paint right over this canvas. It's awesome. It teaches you how to be detached from the outcome so that you can take bold action. This will spill over to everything in your life. But for now, I want you to really understand how easy this is and how fast it can be and how you don't have to be afraid of if you're doing it good enough. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the second mile in the marathon is a painting inspired by, by my son's drawings when he was like four. So we start you out nice and easy. And this is how you paint over a painting. You just paint right over the painting. So what I'm doing first is I'm outlining the design. And this design is the one that you got in your email or if you join the marathon. It's what you will get. And this is a little guy that my son used to paint. I'm not even going to clean my brush in, bet in between colors because that way you can see how easy it is to mix. So now I'm going to paint the background. What's fun when you're painting or drawing is you always start with whatever seems easiest first. So for me today, seemed like the background. And then I'm going to paint the bottom part of the background a totally different color. Now I see people when they first start painting, they're taking this very, very seriously and they get very thoughtful and, and you know, furrowed brow trying to figure out what color they should do next. They just don't know what color to do next. And usually my advice is just do any color. Just pick a color. Again, like I said in the previous demonstration, this is not going to bring you financial independence or solve world hunger. This is simply going to very effectively get you into your right brain where you will become present. If you have any trouble meditating, creative and meditative activity produce the same brain waves. So I'm a bit of a doer myself, so if I'm giving myself something to do, I am going to have a lot easier time. So now I just took the red that was on my brush from that background, mixed it in with the yellow and a little white, and now I'm going to paint little man's face here. So you can probably see it kind of appearing. And again, the colors all mixing together. You know, the blue obviously has not dried in the last 60 seconds, so it might um, blend in with the orange a little bit, but that's going to make it look really artsy. And we'll paint down here. And we're about to have the entire canvas covered with paint. And if you're doing one of the marathons, this, this could be a mile right here. We're done. Okay? If you have a couple more minutes, you could go ahead and blend some of this orange in with the red. Because we know red is in orange, so we know that that will blend together properly. Add a little variety of color. Mix some of the red in with the yellow up here. Then mix it all in with the white. Now all of a sudden it's looking a little more sophisticated. Oh, and here's one of my favorite moves. I don't know if you guys are ready for this, but if you paint over a line, take the end of your brush and scrape it in. Ooh, that's so fun. Let's do that more. Now all of a sudden, he's standing out and we've added another dimension. Okay, so there's another mile. You're that much more creatively fit. Paint. Get painting. Get out the paintbrush. Don't be afraid. Okay, go to creativelyfit.com for more inspiration.